Hello everyone, my name is Navin and today we are going to have a lecture on uh, question solving series. Okay, so and this, this uh, series is especially for students, those are preparing for Genco examination. Okay, so that is TS Genco and AP Genco examination and uh, in this uh, video series, we are going to solve all the questions which are related to Genco uh, examination and uh, and uh, this standard is of uh, assistant engineering standard okay got it now my dear students uh, let me start with respect to some questions before starting let me give uh, a information regarding a uh, coaching uh, happening in uh, sai meda koti hyderabad okay so my dear students already the batches are running and going on uh, in with respect to online and offline those students are not able to attend offline they can avail online courses also okay right so as per the offline batch is going on so here as per the guidance uh, in with respect to subject point of view or uh, with respect to how the questions to be solved or uh, motivation all these things has been provided here so let me start with a question solving a 25 kva 2000 oblique 200 volt two winding transformer is connected as shown in figure the full load kva of connection is so as per the question is concerned the converting of two winding transformer into a uh, into a auto transformer okay so for solving this question you should be very aware of the auto transformer uh, uh, power equations how the power related by auto transformer to the two winding transformer let me write it down that is nothing but S auto, the power of auto is equals to A upon A minus 1 into power of two winding transformer. So, what is A? A is nothing but turns ratio. A is nothing but turns ratio which is given by high voltage turns upon low voltage turns. So, but uh, you need to understand the point is that as per the question is concerned, here already the current has been mentioned. If the current is already mentioned, very simple that S is equals to, what is the voltage here? That is nothing but 2200 multiplied by 125 amperes. Then you are going to have in terms of kVAs, kilos, there we are going to have 275 kVA. Understand? So, means like uh, 27500 in terms of kilo, let me write it as 275 kVA. But what is the suggestion? For example, if the current is not given, then what you are going, how you are going to solve this question? So, as per the answer is concerned, 2 is the right answer. And if the current is not given, then you need to find the turns ratio. Turns ratio is how much? To 2200 upon 2000, you are going to have 1.1. Turns ratio, I repeat, 1.1. Then, just uh, S auto is equals to 1.1 upon 1.1 minus 1 into to winding transformer rating that is given by 25 kVA. So, multiplied by 25 kVA means 1.1 multiplied by 25 kVA. So, by divided by 1.1 minus 1. What you get here? Very simple point. Just I'll, let, let me write it here. That is S of auto. S of auto is equals to here A is nothing but 1.1 upon 1.1 minus 1 which is multiplied by 25 kVA. Then here you are going to have 1.1, this is nothing but 1.1 minus 1, that is 0 0.1. Therefore, 11 into 25, then you are going to have 275 kVA, right? So, if the current is not given, then you can solve in this way, you are going to get the same answer. But in the question, they have given the current, directly multiply the voltage into current, you are going to get the value of power rating in terms of apparent powers, right? Now, let us go with the next question. That is a single phase transformer has resistance and reactance given by 0 0.2 per unit, 0 0.6 per unit respectively. Its per unit voltage regulation at 0 0.8 power factor lagging would be. So, as per the question is concerned, we need to understand what is the voltage regulation formula. So, as per the voltage regulation is give, uh, concerned with respect to voltage regulation with respect to per unit values, that is R per unit cos of phi plus or minus x per unit sin phi. Got it? Right. So, as per the question is given, that is in terms of lagging. If they said lagging, we need to choose uh, the parameter only plus. 
therefore let me write it as plus here we have only plus if it is leading then you can take it as minus right so by substituting the values that is nothing but one is 0 0.2 and multiplied by power factor is given by 0 0.8 plus and here it is given by 0 0.6 and multiplied by if it is a cos phi is nothing but 0.8 then sin phi is nothing but 0 0.6 by the cos phi is equal to 0 0.8 phi is equal to cos inverse of 0.8 then you are going to get the value of phi substituting the value in terms of sin phi you are going to have the value of 0.6 therefore just multiplying it that is 16 0 0.16 plus 0 0.6 is 36 is 36 therefore you are going to have 0 0.16 plus 36 that is nothing but 52 so this is the right answer for the given question option number one is the right answer for the given question let us go with the next question a transformer has a maximum efficiency at the 3 by 4th of full load. The ratio of the iron losses and the full load copper losses is given by. So we know that the given is in terms of a load at a, a fraction of 3 by 4. So we know that x is nothing but a fraction of full load. Fraction of full load. x is nothing but what? Fraction of full load. Got it? So as per the fraction of full load is concerned, Therefore, if it is x equal to 1 full load, x equal to 1 by 2, half of the full load, x equal to 3 by 4, it is nothing but 3 by 4th of the full load, right. So, as per the x relation is concerned with respect to maximum efficiency, if I say with respect to maximum efficiency, the x square PCU is equals to PI, x square in terms of copper losses equals to PI. Therefore, here the x is given, therefore in terms of x, if I write it as PI upon PCU under root, therefore, if I put root or you can write in terms of squares, therefore you are going to get x square is equals to pi upon pcu. Therefore x is given by 3 upon 4. So 3 upon 4 in the sense 3 upon 4 whole square is equals to pi upon pcu. Therefore you are going to have 3 square in the sense 9. 4 square is nothing but 16. 9 by 16 is the right answer for the given question with respect to ratio pi by pcu is equals to 9 by 16. Therefore the answer for the given question is nothing but option number 3 is the right answer. If the ratio is given as a pcu upon pi then the right answer is nothing but 16 by 9. Now the question is related to only iron losses to the copper loss. Therefore the answer is 9 upon 16 is the right answer. Let us go with the next question. The primary turns of uh, or triple four volt of oblique triple two volt 50 hertz single phase transformer with a core loss cross section here the core loss cross section has been given and the maximum flux density of uh, one tesla so the maximum flux density given in terms of tesla density in the sense what bm therefore let me write the equation of induced emf with respect to flux density that is 4.44 flux density into area that is nothing but net area into f into n volts Right, so B into A n is nothing but what flux, actually 4.44 phi m, phi m is nothing but magnetizing flux or maximum flux or, or mutual flux with respect to frequency into turns. Therefore, here the given data, let me substitute the given data and just find the value of equation. Therefore, E is given by with respect to primary, that is triple 4 is equals to 4.44 and uh, B m is given by 1 multiplied by 1 into area. Here area is, is could be taken in terms of meters only but the given question is nothing but in terms of centimeters therefore a small basic we should understand that one centimeter square is equals to one centimeter square is equals to 10 to the power of minus meter square therefore in according to that let me substitute this area as 100 multiplied by the factor that is 10 to the power of minus 4 into the frequency is 50 hertz multiplied by turns n so therefore if you calculate turns n is equals to taking the taking this all the parameters denominator to the four, uh, triple four then by calculating it you are going to get around 200 turns how much 200 turns therefore the given question related to the answer that is nothing but uh, 200 turns is the right answer for the given question let us go with the next question that is uh, the condition for maximum regulation of a single phase transformer with equivalent resistance yes here the equivalent resistance has been given and the equivalent reactance of course the reactance and the load power factor angle here remember that angle is given right so always remember that as per the condition of a maximum regulation is concerned what is the condition for maximum regulation the condition maximum regulation is nothing but uh, load power factor load power factor must be equals to impedance angle what is the condition for maximum regulation the load power factor must be equals to impedance angle that is theta 
got it right so in according to that if i have the impedance that is nothing but this is uh, uh, let me take this is nothing but the z equivalent and uh, here it is nothing but reactive component that is nothing but x equivalent and this is nothing but r equivalent with respect to an angle theta right so now we know that theta which is a uh, uh, phi is equal to theta with respect to the maximum voltage regulation condition. Therefore, here in according to that, if I write the power factor or if I want to have the phase angle, then usually we have going to take the value of tan. This therefore, tan phi is equals to tan phi is equals means tan theta, but theta is replaced by phi. Therefore, tan phi is equals to that is uh, uh, x equivalent upon r equivalent. If the question is related to power factor, for example, of course, as per the question is concerned, we are going to have a right answer that is nothing but x upon r. But the question if related to power factor, for example, then you are going to have cos of phi, which the, the phi can be replaced by cos theta, then that is equals to cos theta is nothing but uh, adjacent upon impedance. Therefore, r equivalent upon z equivalent. Got the point? If the power factor is given, therefore, if you find this cos phi, cos phi is nothing x upon r, this is not right. So r upon x, this is also not right. Do you understand? And tan, tan is nothing but not upon opposite. No, tan is tan is nothing but opposite upon uh, adjacent. But here it is given as adjacent upon opposite. There it is also wrong. The right answer for the given question is nothing but fourth option. Right. Let us go with the next question. The main application of uh, delta zigzag connected three phase transformer is to supply. So you need to understand what is the delta and the zigzag. Always remember the zigzag connection can be provided in neutral point. If there is exist a neutral point, then it is easier for us to have to connect for unbalancing load also. Therefore, the given question related to what? Sorry, there is a given question which is related to unbalanced. Unbalanced means the answer for the given question is given by unbalanced. So, the, the second option is the right answer. As the zigzag connection can provide a neutral point, then we can easily connect to a unbalanced loading conditions. Right. Now, let us go with the next question. There is question number 7. Two transformers having the same per unit impedance connected in parallel sharing the connected load. Right. So, two transformers are connected in uh, having the same per unit impedance. Remember the point. As the two par a parallel operation of a transformer is concerned, there is a desirable condition you can observe. What is the desirable condition? See, for example, two transformers are connected in parallel. The transformer which is having the higher KVA, larger KVA, it obviously shares a maximum lo more load. Understand when compared with the less value of KVA of the transformer. So, in that sense, while you are going to calculate the impedance with their own base, remember the impedance must, the per unit impedance must be calculated with their own base, then it has a sharing of load proportionally. Meaning what? The in equally not the proportional to respect to rating. So, this is the right answer for the given question that is the proportionality of uh, load sharing with respect to their rating can be happened when the per unit impedance must be remain same with respect to their own base. Understand? This is the de desirable condition when you check out the condition with respect to parallel operation of a transformer. Next, let us go with the next question. Right. 11 kVA and 11 kV on 0.11 kV, a conventional 2 winding transformer is connected as an 12.1 kV oblique 11 kV step down auto transformer the rating of the auto transformer is given by as we see the first question there is the given the value of current but uh, here there is no concept of value of current then we have the concept of voltage then as I said that the formula which is related to the power that is given by S of auto is equal to A upon A minus 1 into S of 2 winding transformer right what is the turns ratio or always I said that Turns ratio is nothing but high voltage upon low voltage turns. Therefore, always A remains as greater than 1. Therefore, in, in that sense, let me calculate the A. A is equals to, when you connect into auto transformer, the value of higher voltage upon the lower voltage, that is nothing but 12.1 upon 11. 12.1 uh, upon 11, that is equals to 121 upon, 1.1 is, it becomes 110. Therefore, if you calculate it, you are going to get 1.1. The ratio is nothing but what? 1.1. Therefore, in that sense, if I substitute this value over here, then 1.1 upon 1.1 minus 1 of what is the two winding rating has been given here? 100, 1100 kVA. Therefore, we will calculate in terms of kVA only. Therefore, I will take it as a, uh, 11 or 1100 as your wish. Let me take it as. So, here the question is given in terms of kVAs only. Therefore, let me take a multiplication of that is a 11 kVA. Right. So, 1100, sorry, 1100 kVA, 
right so this is 1100 kva right the kva is given in terms of 1100 kva right so if you calculate this you are going to get uh, the answer that is nothing but here you are going to have uh, 1.1 upon 1.1 minus 1 1.1 1 .1 upon 1 point minus 1 is nothing but uh, you are going to have 0.1 therefore 0.1 1.1 1 .1 upon 0.1 is nothing but 11 so 11 into 1100 you are going to have the answer is nothing but 11 11 of 121 therefore you are going to have the answer is nothing but 121 uh, hundred of 121 hundred of kva do you understand this so the right answer for the given question is nothing but fourth option is the right answer just try to understand this question is related to power and the related or relation of the power apparent power with respect to auto transformer is equals to a upon a minus 1 into apparent power of the two winding transformer apparent, apparent power is given by 1100 and we got the turns ratio a is equals to 1.1 and substituting in the former you are going to have the multiplication of 11 into 1100 kva then you are going to have 121 100 kva answer that is option number four is the right answer let us go with the next question the energy density of magnetic field in a magnetic circuit is try to understand the energy density understand as per the energy density is given by the formula that is equals to e is equals to half b into h where b is nothing but uh, max uh, flux density and h is nothing but flux intensity therefore with respect to this relation we are going to have relation between h and uh, b is given by b is equal to mu times of h where mu is nothing but permeability in that sense if i replace uh, this E by a proportionality constant that is nothing but E is proportional to B into H therefore I could replace B or H by like this H is equals to B upon mu B upon mu right H is equal to B upon mu let me replace by E is proportional to B upon mu into mu in sorry mu into B this H is replaced by B, B upon mu into H therefore E is proportional to B square upon mu therefore if you observe this energy this energy that is energy density remember the energy density is uh, directly proportional to b square but inversely proportional to the permeability so as per the question is covered gunson it is nothing but inversely proportional to the flux density it's not right right so directly proportional to the absolute permeability no it is it must be inversely proportional so it is wrong directly proportional to the magnetic flux density yes uh, magnetic uh, density but uh, you should understand the question is given here directly proportional to the square of the magnetic flux density square of the magnetic flux density is the right answer for the given question this is also wrong answer so for the given question the option number four is the right answer so my dear students this is the session is goes on with respect to solving uh, different different questions which are related to genco examination and ts and ap students it is my uh, request and uh, it is my suggestion Please follow the series and uh, try to have a practice session every time such that it is the best time for you to score a, a, a good number in the examination and uh, all the best and we will meet once again with the next machine and uh, thank you very much have a great day and the students those who are interested please check out the numbers scrolling on the screen and go through uh, please call it and have an inquiry and uh, uh, and just use the opportunity thank you very much have a nice day thank you very much.